Here's our tale of the tape as Suleiman Sissoko takes on two class Kieran Conway. Conway, 25 years old. They're both about the same height, weight, but the reach, three inches. The advantage for the Englishmen were scheduled for 10 rounds here tonight in Arlington. As we open round one, Conway in the white with tassels, Sissoko with the white and the silver shiny stuff. Conway more than comfortable to let Sissoko throw his hands first and then fire back. Sissoko has, you can see it, he has a perfect amateur style. You know, he has his hands up, elbows in. He faints a little bit, looks for the, the clean shots, the precise shots, just like that. Long one-twos. Pick him up a little. I think that's a fight that, that Conway's going to have to look for. When he gets inside, he's going to have to get a little physical. He doesn't want to go jab for jab or 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two with Sissoko. He's too polished for that. Round two scheduled for 10 here. Sissoko in the black gloves, Kieran Conway in the white. It's going to be hard to get past that long jab of Sissoko. He's throwing it to the chin, the chest, the gut. You don't know where it's coming just to set up that right hand. Long right hand, just like he did right there. You set up your big punches. Frustrate your opponent with distance and timing and length. Fighting from your distance and fight when you want to fight. You know, at this distance right here, Conway's going to have a hard time. With good left to the body there for Conway. Conway's going to have a hard time cutting that distance, so he's going to have to get inside and do what he just did there, punch in between the shots of Sissoko. He has long arms, so in between the shots is when they're going to land. Well, listen, Sissoko has admitted in past interviews that he lacks a little aggressiveness, perhaps due to his quiet nature outside of the ring, and he's been working with Hunter to bring a, a little bit more of an edge. Yeah, but you could have said the exact same thing about the great Andre Ward, but Ward was mean. You know, he fought some. He fought monsters and was mean. He didn't have to give you all that, all that loudmouth stuff or looking for big shots. He was a technician in there. Stop! Stop! Over 70,000 fans expected here by the time our main event starts. Right now, it looks like it's about 80% full. They've been relatively quiet, waiting for one of these fighters to give them something to roar about. I'll tell you one thing, Sissoko just missed a big, long right hand right now, setting up with that left jab. And that's what Sissoko does. He lures you in with that long jab. Next thing you know, he hides it. He hides that right hand behind the glove, and he, uh, he times it right on the chin. And here's what I mean with Sissoko's long jab, how he throws it at the left side of the face of Conway just to set up and hide that right hand. Jabs like that will keep Conway at distance and not eager to come in. And there's that sneaky uppercut that he's known for. Very nice little right hand over the top. Sissoko. Right hand from Conway. Conway timed that right hand. Kind of glancing right hand, but still got getting closer to Sissoko's long reach. Hey, maybe uh, Conway's got that uh, Terrence Crawford mentality where it takes a couple rounds to figure the guy out and then he starts landing at will. Nice right hand there from Conway, and maybe he is figuring this guy out a little bit. Yeah, you got to time those long, long punches like that. I mean, Whenever you have those long arms, yeah, of course, they're going to be an advantage. But if you get lazy or you get time, they could be a detriment as well. You know, I, I didn't like this fight for Conway. It's just a wrong style matchup by a, a hungry, undefeated, well-schooled fighter in Sissoko. He doesn't stand in front of Conway too long. He's always using angles, always using different positions, setting up. As we have five rounds left. Yeah, Conway's going to have to step up the, the combination. Just start, start hitting anything. Right there, he threw a four-punch combination. Back up the taller man, the longer arm fighter.
Conway still searching for the key for the Sissoko lock. See how he landed that one two. He didn't waste his time with a three four. He was content with that one two got out of the way repositioned himself and back at the end of the jab. It's really hard to beat a fighter like Sissoko. Well the jab has been the key so far for Sissoko finally. Nice little flurry from the Frenchman. And they're all straight punches. He doesn't bother with left hooks or right hooks. It's all straight punches down the line. That's why he was a successful amateur. Those punches are easy and clean to see. Jabs through round six. Sissoko with a big edge there, 46 to 26. He's thrown 231 of them, Sergio. Yep, and that's his fight. And Conway's doing the right thing here. I mean, I, I think they finally got into Conway's head and said that he needs to punch in between the shots and punch with Sissoko. You're not going to beat him in a jab fest, so get inside till three, three and four punches. And they both throw rights at the same time. Neither one connect. Sissoko curved that right hand. I think if he would have straightened it out like he's been throwing, it would have landed. I was going to say, I didn't think he was capable of throwing a non-straight punch. <laughs> There's, There's another, another one. one. Yeah. There was an uppercut just missing from Sissoko. Yeah, he'll, he'll cut your lights out with that uppercut. We've seen two of them that came up short for Sissoko. And maybe that's another thing that Conway's leery of. That's why he's not being as aggressive, because he knows that Sissoko's best punch is that uppercut. Sometimes you don't see it, and those are the ones that take you out. They call Conway two class, but right now he's being taken to school by Sissoko. Ooh, there's that right hand. See how sneaky it is? He hides that right hand with that jab. Not only does he lure it to your sleep, but he throws it on the opposite side of the face of Conway to hide that right hand, and boom, you don't even see it coming. And there was the straight right hand that was masked by the jab. And that's what he's good at right there. Look at how long and straight it is. Boom. That's what I mean. If that, if that right hand would have landed just one inch to the right, it would have had a lot more effect right there on Conway. So six minutes left for Conway to pull out something extremely unlikely. He's got to most likely finish Sissoko. And this is the fight oh, right there. Oh, there's an uppercut, and he dropped him. Is that a knockdown? Yes, it is. That's a con Conway got Three. dropped. Three. That was Sissoko. Four. Maybe hit him right in the eye, but what a turn Five. of events. Six. Seven. Conway dropped Sissoko Eight. right then. That was a long count. He's okay, or at least seemingly so. What a moment here for Conway. He's been dominated for the better part of eight full rounds. And here comes Northampton's Conway looking for a huge finish. I kept talking about Sissoko's uppercut, but it was Conway's uppercut that did all the damage. This is his moment. He can't let the Frenchman off the hook. And I've been there before. He got hit in the middle of the eye in the eye socket. Those hurt right there. If Conway knows how hurt he is, he should jump on Sissoko right now. Any punch is going to hurt. Well, it took nine rounds, but he definitely got the respect from Sissoko. It was a long count right there, and it was definitely an uppercut that dropped him. Here it was, Sergio. Yes, it was. And right there, you see Conway finally going to the body, and there's that earmuff defense that I told you. I don't like that defense. If punches like that slip right by, Said Coco didn't even see that punch coming, and those are the ones that hurt the most. Uppercut, uppercut. Double uppercut right there. Vicious. Wow. Here we go. Three minutes to, to go in this one. Let it all hang out of your Conway. That's it. You hurt your opponent. You dropped your opponent. Now go after your opponent. Well, if you're Sissoko, what do you do? I think you put it on cruise control. You got hurt. You got dropped. Now you just, you're ahead on points. Jab, make it a jab fest. Conway being very hesitant. Sissoko. Oh, nice little uppercut from Sissoko. Perfectly timed. And that's what he's known for, but it took him 10 rounds to finally land it. I mean, that's his money punch. Other than that jab, it's those uppercuts. Oh, what a big right hand. Sissoko's best punch of the fight. Conway's going to have to eat a couple of those, though, if he wants to land shots of his own. Yeah, no urgency being shown by Conway. Right here, double and triple your way in. Look for that same uppercut again. The effects are still lingering for Sokoko. Does Conway have one final flurry left in him? Oh. 
And that's it. I asked you earlier, what would Sissoko do when he had to face adversity? And this is what you want to see. He faced it, he was hurt, and he passed the test. Conway's got his glove in the air, believes maybe he did enough to win. That's a tall ask. Xavier Gimonte is ready with the score. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Arlington, Texas, we go to the judges' score totals. Don Griffin, 97-92 for Conway. David Iokabuchi, 96-93 for Suzoko. And Judge Jesse Reyes scores this contest 95 to 94 for your winner by split decision. And the new WBA Intercontinental Super Welterweight Champion, Suleiman TKO Suzoko.